one of the world's greenest cities in one of the happiest countries of the world. Welcome to Copenhagen, or as they say in Danish, Velkommen til Copenhagen. Let's start our tour from one of the most picturesque places in Copenhagen. It's the district of Nihon. The northern side of this district is lined with brightly colored houses. If you Google for Copenhagen, this is also one of the first images that you will see of Copenhagen on Google. It's a great place to relax, chill out, take some scenic photos or go on a canal tour. Interestingly, the house numbers 18, 20 and 67 were home to the author Hans Christian Andersen at different times. You might notice a lot of rainbow flags around here. That's because this week it's the pride celebrations going on in Copenhagen. This round looking tower is actually called the Round Tower. It was built in the 17th century as an astronomical observatory. And we can go up there. Let's see. So you may notice that this staircase here is quite unique and different from normal staircases. It's pretty wide. That's because it's called an equestrian staircase. A place where even horses can go up there. But I think we'll just walk. This is the main pedestrian street and the go-to shopping spot in Copenhagen. Here you can find anything from budget-friendly chains to the most luxurious brands. I'm standing here right in front of the home of the Danish royal family, the Amelian Borg. It's famous for its royal guard and you can experience the changing of the royal guard every single day as they march from the barracks through the whole Copenhagen city and end up here. So now we are waiting for the royal guard. They're scheduled to come here at 12 p.m. and there's a whole crowd waiting to see them here. Winter, it is more spectacular than in summer as the royal family only resides here in winter. This magnificent church has the largest church dome in the whole of Scandinavia with a span of more than 31 meters which rests on 12 different columns. It's also known as the Marble Church.
This little mermaid statue is probably one of the most famous landmarks in the city. It depicts a mermaid becoming a human based on the famous story of Hans Christian Andersen, who also wrote The Ugly Duckling, by the way. And don't be surprised when you come here to find that the mermaid statue is smaller than you expected. And it's also pretty crowded here. Built in the Dutch Renaissance style, the Rosenberg Castle was used as a royal residence until 1710. And the gardens surrounding this castle, also known as the King's Garden, are the oldest royal garden in this country. About a five-minute cycle ride from the city centre, you'll reach the Citadel of Copenhagen. It's one of the most well-preserved fortresses of Northern Europe. It's shaped in a star, but you'll only see it from the top. So, if you see a map. There are two entrances to it. This right here is the King's Gate and there's another gate called Norway Gate over there. It's actually actively been used by the military even today, but it's also a public park where people come just to enjoy walking on a sunny day. Tivoli or Tivoli Gardens is the most visited amusement park in Scandinavia and the third oldest amusement park in the world. It's located right in downtown Copenhagen next to the central train station. What's special about Tivoli is its beautiful scenery with exotic architecture, historical buildings and pretty plants which make it seem like a magical place from a fairy tale. One tip, make sure you stay till after it gets dark. That's when the lights turn on which is an experience you should not miss. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the DW Travel channel for more such travel videos. See you next time.